A few weeks ago, we introduced you to a dog named Hope. She was found starved and abandoned, but a local family decided to foster her and nurse her back to health. And WENY's Leanne DeRosa checked in with that family today to see how Hope is doing. Leanne? Aisha, it looks like there's hope for Hope. Her transformation is like night and day, and it's only been three weeks. Take a look. When Hope was found, she was only skin and bones, weak and shaking from the cold. But now three weeks later... We brought Hope to the vet last week, and then she had gained 12 pounds. Mm -hmm. So she's got another probably 15 or so to go, maybe 20. A different dog than three weeks ago, for sure. She's definitely a, you know, a quieter dog. She's not crazy, but she can be very playful. She loves her little stuffed toys, right, her squeaky toys. Um, and there's just light in her face again. I think when she first came here, she was so ill, and so we weren't sure she was going to make it. And now it's so nice to see um, her happy and just to have more light in her eyes. The family planned to nurse Hope back to health and find another wonderful family to adopt her. That is until Christmas rolled around. Uh, my dad had this giant box and we opened it and there was just a little picture of Hope and on the picture frame it said we could keep her. The family said after having Hope in their home for about a week, they knew she would be a permanent addition. I can't imagine her being anywhere but here. This is her home and she's so attached to us. She follows me around wherever I go, and the kids too. I want to keep hope because it makes me feel like a hero because we helped her. The kids say this was not only the best Christmas ever for them, but also for Hope. Ellie, how do you feel about Hope? I love Hope. <laughs> She's cute. I love a little face. The family says Tanner's Paws is still investigating who originally owned and mistreated Hope. And if you would like to foster or adopt a dog, go to WENY.com and click on this story. In the studio, Leanne DeRosa, WENY News.